Hello, people. As I can say, howdy, howdy. Today is not cloudy. Let me step into the room. I'm your sunshine today. Okay, people. There, there's been so much going on that hasn't even hit the major news. Um, I was looking at uh, an article where a lady actually was dating somebody who was... Um, you want to say abusive towards her and she was working in supposedly a, a police department and she had thought about going ahead to uh, get a restraining order well she didn't get it soon enough because uh, the particular, particular day she decided to go to work the guy came out waited for her to come out of her house and shot her and she went to try to, to get away from the guy, probably to get back in the house. And he just shot her dead till she was dead. You know, um, this is ridiculous, people. Um, you don't hear about it a lot with women going after men. Of course, when women have gone after men and, you know, tried to kill them or whatever, it's a whole different scenario. It's not normally a gun. You normally hear about them trying to poison them or something of that nature. But in this particular case, um, he shot her to death. Like, you know, it happens a lot with, with male on women crime. And um, it kind of makes me think of, okay, like when the person's young, right? We teach our children when you're young, if you can't have something, then you just can't have it, you know find another way, you know, go someplace else. Don't, don't try to go after, say, that particular thing that you're talking about, you're boohooing about, right? And, um, there's a difference, though. Like, okay, for instance, say if you saw some candy or toy or whatever, something you wanted in the store, okay? Don't boohoo about it, you can't have it right now. But if you can make the money to pay for it, there's nothing wrong with you going to make the money, you know, and pay for it, right? So there's nothing wrong with that. But there's other things you can't think of it as that way. Like a person. And this is what we're saying that with this woman and with many other women, or even males, who have gone through this and lost their lives over it. You can't buy that person. You cannot make that person want to be with you. Whatever you did that turned them off and they just decided, I'm done, you got to let it go. And killing them is not going to get you anywhere but get you put in jail. Or maybe get you killed too, when you think about it. And, you know, life is precious. People's lives are very precious. And... It seems like we don't teach about how precious life is to each other. And you just go off, you know, get mad and go off and say, okay, I'm just going to take your life, you know. And when it's all said and done, yeah, you're sitting there saying you're sorry. But what if the person had a child? Of course, they had mothers, fathers, uncles, aunts, sisters, brothers, or whatever. You can't bring that person back. They're gone. So sorry is not going to do it. So 
all I can say is either you're going to deal with the family, somebody else going to take you up off this earth, or you go to jail. That's how it happens. But I just wish people would understand that you cannot make a person want to be with you. All you can do is take it as a lesson and go on about your way with your daily life. Yes, you're going to hurt, but it's a lesson that you need to wake up to and don't look at it as the other person being the one who had, you know, was at fault. Look at what you did in the situation. Now, another thing I wanted to kind of hit on, you know, which is kind of, is mainly dealing with murders. This murdering thing that's going on. Whoop, got my my thing just is shaking. Sorry about that. Don't mean to have my camera shaking. But anyway, all this people just murdering each other left and right is ridiculous. And the main murders that I see is either people are being shot up by guns, they're getting killed in car crashes, or they're dying from some kind of disease. Those are the three main things that are taking people off this earth, it seems right now. And I attribute to, like I said, the same thing before, you know, people not respecting other people's life, like car crashes, people in a hurry to get somewhere. And instead of just taking the time, you know, going through traffic like everybody else has to people get wound up and mad and feel like oh okay you're going too slow so i'm just going to speed up not thinking they speed up maybe the person in front of them decides to stop really quick and boom here we go we have a chain reaction car crash or people lose control other car and it ends up being in a car crash so People, you, we, we just got to stop this stuff. This, this is really ridiculous. And the other major thing that's ridiculous behind the car crashes too is I almost got one myself at corner not too far from me. And it's because a young lady went through the red light talking on the phone. And she obviously did not know her light was red. She was supposed to stop because she was going at full speed just talking away, not paying attention to the fact that there were other cars, you know, around. And if she would have paid attention and saw that, oh, this, I'm approaching this intersection, maybe I need to slow down. Nope. She's just talking away on her, her phone. And something told me, you know what, don't go through it. Even though the light's green, don't go through it. Good thing I didn't because I was sitting in a truck. But as fast as she was coming in her car, she could have made the truck I was in flip. That's how fast she was going. So people are so um, in tune to themselves. It's all about me, me, me. Not about what that other person is thinking, you know, or that other person's life is what I want to say. So people, please start paying attention. Get off your phones. You didn't have them phones all along. So get off the phone especially when you're driving or if you have a lot, we have these different little things that you can put up in your car that'll hold your phone for you. Use one of those and, and put your, your phone like on a, a speaker thing, or hopefully you have like a Bluetooth going through your radio system and you can, you know, use that to talk to people. But the other way, by you having it in your hand, that is really a hazard. And so many people, I've seen signs like going down the freeway where it says, don't talk and text. Now, if these signs are up to that point, that means that the accidents that are happening are at an all-time high that they had to put these signs up. So people, get off the phone. It, it, it's not necessary. You don't need to be on the phone and driving. You know, again, as I said, this is thinking about somebody else's life. If you don't even think about your own, think about somebody else's life that you can be taken up off this earth. Okay. And, um, I understand too, what I want to hit upon where some of this thinking comes from, why people do the things they do, where they just decide, you know, let's go back to 
where you feel you should have whatever you want to have. Well, you know, in school, especially if not at home, we're taught that, you know, you're not supposed to take somebody else's stuff. But if you look at the way our government has been all these years, many of us serve time in the service or whatever, we're thinking, they're telling us, okay, we're going to fight for this fight to save the other people over in this other country, only to find out, no, this government has sent us over there because they fighting to get their dibs in on oil, drugs, or whatever else. Most of us didn't even know until after we got out of the service what it was about. But that's an oxymoron when it comes to trying to teach your children who are coming up, who are going to, you know, become eventually these adults in society. And so they're looking at you like, okay, as a government, you do it all the time. You, you go after what you say you want, whether that other government wants to give it to you or not. You just go in there and you kill people up and take it. You see where I'm going with this? Exactly. Same thing. It's, it's almost one's at a micro level, the one, other one's at a mi macro level. You do the same thing. Excuse me. You, you decide that I'm going to have this no matter what. And what do you do? You use violence to try to get it. Well, in the case of the male or the man, woman getting murdered, they're murdered. What, what, they're dead. What, what good are you at this point? You, you don't have what you want to get. But at the micro level, same thing. You end up killing more people and damaging their com their countries, and nothing gets solved. It's just like a child decided to have their tantrum, and I'm going to get things my way and have things my way. Well, in the end, every time, yeah, you end up having your way. But what you wanted, did you really get it? Nah. It disappears. So what's the use? Learn how to get along, people. Learn how to respect life. Respect other people's life if you don't even respect your own. And that's the advice I have for you today as far as that goes. And learn how to, to love. That's the other thing. That's, if you learn how to love, Number one, yourself. Not in a way where you're egotistical. But love yourself and take care of yourself. You'll be able to love others. Now, I don't expect you to love to the point that these people are running over you or doing things to you. You have to know when to put your foot down, make boundaries. But if you love, you won't even... Think about doing the things we just talked about, trying to take things from people. You would have so much respect for them that you'll be like, you know what? That's not meant for me. I, I don't know why I'm even craving it or whatever. That's not meant for me. That's theirs. They work for it. You know, they deserve it. That's theirs. You know, I can admire it, but it doesn't mean I need to have it. And when you have that attitude, you know, going along and says, you know what, I'm, I'm going to just let this, let this go. You'll find out more people will get along and we'll probably have less violence and less people dead. Think about others, people think about others. That's all I have for you today.